He looked forward to many years of being a hardworking, productive police officer. That was stolen from him, and he was stolen from us when the defendant, Jamel Crockham, put three bullets in his head, killing him. You cannot imagine the devastating effect his loss has created. It is a feeling one cannot describe when a loved one is killed in cold blood while simply carrying out his day-to-day -day duties. The outpouring of love and support from the local PBA 71, Lakewood Police Department, and family members was comforting. It's like yesterday we booked our venue, took pictures in front of it, and we felt the day was never going to come. The defendant stole that from us. Our wedding. Among everything else we had planned, Chris didn't even finish our home or watch TV on the couches we just purchased. I sleep with his t-shirt every night, the one he wore that day before he went into work and had three bullets put into his head. I think our dogs can still smell him. They're the only ones that bring me joy and comfort when I'm alone, which is every night. I cry myself to sleep almost every night asking why, but I can't anymore. There's no why in life. I dream about him almost every night, and he's happy where he is. Just like he was happy here, with me, with our families, and as a police officer for Lakewood Township. I cry myself to sleep almost every night asking why but I can't anymore. There's no why in life. And I was happy to have him as a man I was going to marry. But Mr. Crockham is luckier. He's luckier than Chris because he had the opportunity to be tried by 12. Chris never had that option. He had to be carried by eight. And that is something that he has to live with for the rest of his life. And no matter what the sentence that you may impose upon him, the real sentence will begin when he meets his maker and his soul is judged by a power higher than me, higher than you, and anyone in this room. And we have, on two levels, a mandatory life sentence without the possibility of parole. One for killing Officer Matlos while he was performing his duties as a police officer, and a separate aggravating, aggravating factor that the jury found that he committed this murder to avoid his own apprehension. That's mandatory. That has to be imposed. Five years ago, this would have been a capital case. I, I think I can speak for the prosecutor in saying we would have proceeded in this case as a death penalty case if the law permitted it without any hesitation or any reservation given the facts and circumstances. Your life and liberty will be substantially and significantly altered by your malicious decision to engage in the execution of a law enforcement officer. Jamel Crockham has, in essence, forfeited his right forever from being, for, for living in a life without incarceration. So this needless act of violence dictates the sentence in which you will receive on count one, murder of Christopher Matlos, a life sentence to the custody of the Commissioner Department of Corrections, during which the defendant, uh, Jamel Crockham, shall not be eligible for parole. The sentence imposed is pursuant to NJSA 2C colon 11-3B uh, 2 in the case uh, Trantino New Jer versus New Jersey State Parole Board. The court stated, and I quote, that law enacted reflects our contemporary society's belief that the murderer of a police officer should never be released from prison irrespective of the extent of his real rehabilitation during his years of incarceration.